to moving vlog one. So um, Jay's gonna pop to Tesco, there's one just down the road to get us some food because we've only had breakfast and it's getting on a bit. Um, so whilst he's gone, I wanna take some B-roll for the empty house tour. The video probably would have gone live the one before this one. So we've got that and then get cleaning. I think we're gonna, today there's probably not gonna be a lot of footage. We're just gonna clean, clean, clean and clean everything. He didn't, he walked past the window and he didn't wave to me. But yeah, um, when, I think the kitchen is the first port of call because we brought the kitchen stuff with us, which will mean we can put stuff away. It, to be honest, it's pretty clean. It looks like it's all been done new. The house has just been sat empty since at least February. So it's like, we'd rather just give it everything a nice once over and know that it's clean. Um, so yeah, we'll get on with that and we'll check in at some point. So one of the first things that I actually thought I'd do, I brought a couple of candles with us. These are actually really cute ones that my auntie Rose got me for my birthday. I thought to make it like feel like home and smell like home, I'd light a couple of candles. So I'm gonna like one in the front room and one in the kitchen because they're the main two rooms we're gonna be in. But I just thought that would be a nice way to like make it be home. Jay has come back with the meal deal, so we're gonna read that, aren't we? Yeah. It's really warm. Do you wanna run and figure out how to do the boiler? Yeah. I was meant to do it whilst doing it, but I forgot. Um, and whilst he's been out, I've taped out where we're gonna put the sofa, and I think it'll fit quite nicely, so we can now message my dad and be like, yes, go ahead. He's very kindly offered to get us the sofa we want as a moving in and Christmas present. That is very, very kind of him and it should fit here so nicely and we'll then be able to like sit on our sofa and the eventual plan is to put like eventual because it's going to cost a bit of money. Here we'll have like a, um, what do you call it, like a projector screen that we pull down. So that'll be well fucking. I'm now going to root all through all of the kitchen boxes to try and find us some glasses so we can have some water. Yeah, so at the moment we're cleaning the kitchen because we want it to be clean. We're going to clean everywhere thoroughly. Uh, yeah. It's, none of it's dirty. Yeah, no, nothing's good. dirty. Like it's everything's new and clean and nice. Uh, we just want to be sure that it's definitely but clean. It's been sat empty yeah. for so long. I think it's a big reason. It's November and this house has been empty since February, so there's obviously there is dust. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Okay, so I've finished my bit in the kitchen. Jay's gonna hoover now. I'm gonna hoover us, but I'm gonna clean the whole floor, yeah. Yeah, so, so gonna now you're gonna hoover moth. Um, because my dad's coming around shortly um, to drop off a couple of big furniture Oh, to drop off a couple of big furniture items for us, which need to go in the kitchen. So you want the kitchen hoovered and mopped for when he gets here, so we can put the furniture items straight in, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start putting things in the cupboards because I might as well. So um, I'm going to set up a time lapse. I don't think there'll be any audio. So I'm just going to set up a time lapse and we can enjoy a lovely little time lapse. <laughs> So dad has arrived, he's doing washing up because he loves doing the washing up. Okay. Jay's drying up and I'm sorting through everything. So hopefully we'll get the kitchen unpacked and sorted. Okay, so Jay and dad have just popped out to his car to get the last piece of furniture in. We've now got this in here and we're just gonna keep all the DIY stuff that we're gonna need over the next 
you know, a few weeks in here. The kitchen is coming together. It looks quite messy, but like it's all coming together. We've got like cutlery drawer, all of our bits and pieces, like, yeah, it's coming together slowly but surely. We've still got quite a bit here and look, always oh, got it. So I came upstairs to Polly Villa because like, I'm not gonna lie, there was a little bit in the wall over there. And when we're here to take measurements, I was like, oh, that looks weird, Brush, brushed it and it fell out. And I was like, oh crap, but they've already filled it in. So bloody lovely, I don't need to Polly Villa. Might even start painting, you never know. Oh, and I don't know if I showed. This is, we've taped out in the bed, so this is the bedroom down here. We've taped out the wardrobe we like the look of, the chair we've already got, the bed light we like the look of, my bedside table we've already got. There's plenty of room for Jay's bedside table here. And there's a set of drawers I really like the look of and they'll fit there, so I'm really happy. Um, it all looks like it's actually gonna fit and be nice and be cozy and homey, so. So I'm now upstairs in the office for the night. I've got my little workstation and my paint. And I'm just gonna try and get the detail work done. Um, first of all, I'm gonna give my mum a video call and if she answers, I'll show her around the house. So that should be nice, but yeah. Except that it's gonna be painting. Honestly, don't be gonna show you much of this part because we're painting white walls white. Which might seem silly, but we're pretty sure it's just like a base coat on them at the moment. And it's a very, a very bright white which is fine but we just like it to have a little bit of colour in but we are we have got other colours to do different bits in this room so it will get fun before the end of tomorrow but Jay's still washing up downstairs um just because we've brought so much kitchen stuff new it's like let's just wash it all and be sure it's all good to use but yeah okay so I'm hoping that's focusing here is the light switch, here is the colour white that was on the wall and here is the colour white I'm putting on. It's called White Mist but it's looking quite grey. So uh, I'm going to keep going with it doing all the detail work and just hope it dries a little bit lighter than this. Like I like it and I like that it's cool toned but I just want it to dry a bit lighter so we'll see. It's, uh, it's going pretty good. I got to like that point there. <laughs> Okay, so it's now early Saturday morning, it's actually 9.15 now, we've been off about half an hour. Um, so last night we came back home to my dad's house, I don't know, it's going to be weird the next few weeks whilst we're like transitioning from this house to our house, because um, they both feel like home still, but like at some point over the next few weeks it'll be easier to <laughs> define between. But we're back home at my dad's house. I am getting loads of stuff ready to pack the car again so we can go over. Which says it's going to be a lot of painting, a lot of cleaning and hopefully some more sorting out and putting away. But we will see. Um, we've got a couple of funky things planned for the painting of the office. So I'm really hoping that we get around to that today. But it'll just depend how quick everything dries and if it needs one coat or two. The office is the room that needs doing for us to move in. So, yeah, I'll bring you along um, and we'll see what we end up doing. And that is our load for today. Uh, my dad is also very kindly going to bring us a load um, later on today. Some of the bigger furniture because he's got a bigger car. Um, so obviously we're living with my dad right now. So even though we're in lockdown, he can come here because we're still living with him. Um, yeah, um, we've managed to attempt it. <laughs> like we'll get a takeaway when you go. So yeah, it's all good. We uh, ordered, well, when my dad went home last night, he ordered the sofa and he literally got the last one for us. We were so 
like so happy <laughs> um when we got home and refreshed our page it said 12 to 16 weeks and you managed to get the last one like actually in stock that says three to four weeks so that's exciting we ordered the washing machine which will arrive on tuesday the fridge which said 10 to 21 days and then text us with a delivery slot we ordered the bed frame that comes next Friday and we ordered the wardrobe which unfortunately is a 14 week wait so so right now we've got a temporary slot for February 17th I think for the wardrobe but yeah um Hello. yeah so we're gonna probably start with painting aren't we yeah and then try and get a bit more done of the kitchen because we left quite a lot of the washing up because we've had enough because <laughs> we need to wash up everything because of everything being new like and dusty and being packed away for months and months whilst we've been waiting for this <laughs> so yeah that's the plan for today and we'll bring you along again so jay's up there doing the frog tape so i can do the detailing and obviously we're not professionals so what we've done is we've got all of our old bedding because uh, we're swapping bed sizes so we're not going to need our old bedding so we've got two lots here that have got loads of paint on from me doing arts and crafts in the bed and hair dye on and bleach on and loads so we're going to use those to like protect the floor and like the bits that we're not painting so yeah that's the plan and we're just going to get on with it really i might do a couple of nice little time lapses but i don't think you're going to be able to see that much so we'll just wait and see So I've done the first coat on that wall there and that wall there. So that is half done. And Jay has been doing some more of the washing up, trying to get through it. And I think he's just started doing some frog taping. Oh yes. Oh yes. Very nice. Thank you. Very precise. I, I know. Yes, yeah, so he's just started doing some frog taping in the bedroom. Still painting, so there's still not a lot to show. You're gonna need two coats in your face potentially. Potentially need two coats. Now it's drying, it's definitely looking better, but it's still drying, so I don't, I don't know. We'll make a call when uh, it's uh, a bit more done. Yeah. I'm still a bit annoyed about the internet not being installed until the end of the month, but other than that, everything's going very smoothly. I agree. Okay, so I'm still in the loft. I'm gonna leave it now. I've been up and down the stairs. I'm very out of breath. There's a lot of stairs. Um, a lot more than we used to. And now we're gonna start painting the bedroom. I've frog taped this wall off. Jay's gonna frog tape the rest of the walls off and then just remove the socket so we can just paint behind them a bit easier. Um, we're still just doing an off-white color in this room. But rather than the cool off white we did upstairs, upstairs we did the white mist. In this room we're going to be doing timeless. So just a bit of a warmer white because we're going for some like pastel colours in this room everywhere. So we thought a warm white would be nice. So again, just more painting. If you can actually see it on the wall, I might do a time lapse. But we can't be sure. Hello. So it's getting on. Well, it's not even that late. It's 20 to 8 of the evening. My dad's been, he did a massive drop off of stuff he managed to fit so many boxes in his car so they're all in the living room um we had a dominoes which was nice um and then me and jay have basically just been getting on with painting this room we are hopeful that this room will only need one coat but i don't think we'll know until tomorrow because it's not going to fully dry um yeah and then we need to do a second coat upstairs so i might at least try and start that tonight we're also gonna have to go to b and q tomorrow well any homeware store will do but b and q is a four minute drive away from us so we're gonna go to b and q get some some more frog takes we ran out of that some more masking takes we're almost out of that 
a curtain pole so we can actually put curtains up in here. Uh, this is the bedroom we're painting right now. I don't know if I said that. Um, because right now we haven't got curtains in any of the rooms, which is fine. But we're getting to the point where we're going to want to have a shower and get changed. So we want a room we can like get ready in. This is how the painting. We've painted this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and we've even gone full whack and taken the plug sockets off to paint the detail around that. Of course we turned the electrics off to those sockets before we started messing around unscrewing them. Um, so yeah, today we've Do mainly been decorating, yeah we've just done loads of decorating. Have you explained about the whole like it's not really paint it's mm, i think i have yeah so yeah it basically we've got to do a lot more painting than we expected uh but yeah there's no rush for us to move in uh, at the moment the house is empty so now is makes the most time to decorate as we're gonna have to do it anyway so yeah we've just spent the whole day decorating basically uh it's going pretty well um we were really hoping that the office and the bedroom would only need one coat it's looking like they're probably going to need two coats, but we can just do those tomorrow, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, it's going pretty well. Pretty, we're pretty happy. Okay, so it is now Sunday the 15th, and it is two minutes to 10, a little bit later than what we wanted to do. Jay just ran in to have a wee. It is about a 40, 45 minute trip from where we currently live with my dad to the new house so it is a bit of a journey um yeah it's nice and sunny at the moment so hopefully it'll stay like it the plan is today to finish painting both the office and the bedroom uh the office with fingers crossed hoping that when we get there today the two coats will look fine it won't need any more coats if so we're gonna have to buy more paint like we've probably only got enough to do another coat on half of the walls there so yeah we need to do that we need to touch up the ceilings a lot of the ceiling has been coming off as we've been pulling the frog tape off because it's not ceiling paint it turns out for now we're just going to patch it up with the paint that's been used the plaster cover of paint and then at a later date we can figure out like doing the ceiling it's not super important right now um to be honest like they look fine when they're all there and then later on today my mom is bringing our desk round. we brought our desks like after, straight after the first lockdown ended thinking like we're going to get another lockdown so we brought them we've been storing them in my mom's garage since then so she's going to bring those around as well and hopefully by the end of the day the office will start looking a bit more like a room we can hope uh, we've got one more piece of furniture that we've already got for the office here and one of the Kallax that we've brought round already is going in the office so yeah um, we're just kind of hopeful and just going to try and power through and get as much done Jay's also said he's definitely going to clean the bathroom today uh, we cleaned the bath yesterday and like the toilet's been cleaned so we could use it but except for that it's like needs doing it's the room we've been putting off so we're going to get it done quick trip to B&Q just to grab some extra little bits and bobs the main one that we need urgently was some more frog tape um I would use masking tape but we were about to put some very dark colours on a very light wall so we're just gonna try our best but yeah so the office has turned out a really nice colour we're really happy with it and with the two coats I do need to touch up some of the ceiling where we've pulled some of the paint off um, but that's okay there's a big tour paint of what they've used for the entire house left here so I'll do that but what we plan on doing is both in this corner here and the same corner down the other side we're having two triangles full of colour 
it's basically for that pop of colour but also one side's mine and one side's Jay's so we've picked our own colours to try and I don't really know make it more personal but still be a shared space that still looks nice cohesively together so yeah I'm going to figure out the triangles I brought the frog tape up I brought the um tape measure up because we want to make sure they're both the same size and I picked up we haven't got a lot here so I managed to find a light green pencil Jay's gone for a green colour and I managed to find this pinky purple pencil which I'm hoping will be okay I've actually gone for a really light pink colour so hopefully it'll be okay but yeah I'm gonna do that now okay so the triangles are on it's on that side and that side we're gonna do this side first this is mine and I've gone for Dulux wall and ceilings pretty pink so we're gonna get that on triangle is done it's looking like it might need another coat but we gotta wait two to four hours to find out jay is gonna go and wash some of the stuff and then we're gonna start on his one so we'll come back with a time lapse for that this is my triangle i decided that i wanted either a brown or a dark green kind of like a deep green that's kind of slightly bluey um and that's what we ended up getting couldn't see a brown that really tickled my fancy so Emerald Glade is what we went for mine. And that is Jay's side done as well. So we're gonna now um, put in the whites in the ceiling. Jay's gonna clean the bathroom. We're gonna do the second coat in the bedroom and do another coat on these up here once they're dry. And we'll probably check back in later once we're doing something more interesting. Okay, so we've had our desks delivered. We still need to make them up. Um, Jay is just upstairs finishing off the second coat of the bedroom. I've done the bottom bits, he can reach to the top without the stool. So that's kind of how we've started getting into things. I'll do the bottom and he does the top. I'm gonna try and have a bit of a tidy in here because it's getting rather messy. Like, there's just boxes everywhere. So I'm gonna try and have a bit of a tidy up and then see what we can do. So yes, um, I'll definitely pick up the camera when we're doing upstairs because I think it should hopefully come together pretty cool. Right, so we finished cleaning up here, ready to do the furniture. However, we've decided that we're gonna paint the ceilings. We don't have the ceiling paint yet, but we're just gonna do it a brilliant white. And it's gonna be easier to do the like, furniture in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Sorry, that made a lot of noise, didn't it? Sorry. <laughs> um, so we're gonna, in the morning, we're gonna buy a big tub of um, ceiling paint. Get up here done first. Then as soon as that's on, we'll get the desks fit made. Yeah. The desks made. And then do the office. Not the office, we're in the office. We'll do the office. Get the desk made, then do the bedroom. Yeah, it's after her bedtime. It's not. Yeah, but tonight we're just gonna probably just organise a bit and try and... We've got a lot of stuff collated in the living room and kitchen. But I think, should we call this the end of vlog one? Yeah. Because we've got quite a bit of footage, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, so this is where we're going to leave moving vlog one, just because it's going to get really long if we don't. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Do give it a like if you liked it, subscribe down below, and we'll be picking up moving vlog two in the morning. Uh, so starting right off where we left, except the living room and kitchen will be a little bit tidier. So, yeah, hopefully, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
Yeah, thanks. Bye.